What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto, good morning, hope you're all doing great and uh, welcome back to another coverage on Bitcoin. Um, yeah, in, in, in this video what we're just going to do is we're just going to do an update on the price. I mean, it's, it's going to be easy as that, Bitcoin has been, um, has not been that boring. We've actually, every day we, we did have some sort of a, well, at least relatively big move. Also yesterday, you can see we got a, a, a quite a big bearish move. But it's just overall the the range we've been in uh, over the last let's say o over the last two weeks has been really small. I mean, in 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 the end, we we haven't really left. Once we did leave the nine like this uh, support level at eighteen thousand nine hundred when we had that inflation rate last week. Um, but apart from that, we've been between twenty thousand and nineteen thousand. So so a very small range. At some point, it's going to break out. When that's going to happen, I don't know. Fundamentals could be one thing that could make that happen, but we're not getting any big fundamentals soon. Um, a, a strong, a strong support level could make that happen, but I don't really see any strong support or strong resistance levels. So, just going to have to see day by day. Um, and I'll be with you. I'll cover it every day, so don't worry about that. But first of all, let's take a look uh, quickly at the volume, and we'll talk a little bit about the market. Volume is also stable. It's 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 quite boring actually. <laughs> Um, and the market, and the market has dropped down a little bit. Yesterday we were at around a, a 920 billion market cap in total. Dropped down a little bit uh, because you can see that most cryptos actually over the last 24 hours dropped down. Um, I wouldn't say significantly, but they at least dropped down a little bit. Um, like like most of most of the top 100 actually dropped down. You can also sort it. You only got a, a, a few little tokens that, that are up by 10%, 6%, and then you already drop down to 2%, 1%, and, and stable coins. Um, so yeah, for now, let, let's dive right into Bitcoin. So what we said yesterday, quick recap of my analysis yesterday, um, is, is we did expect this drop down. Got a quick call, but I'm back. So quick recap of what I said yesterday. Yesterday we were testing this resistance level um, around 19,250, quite a strong one. We, we hit a little bit above that. Let's, let's delete this for now. Um, but we hit that and, and that actually shows that we do have some, some maybe some bearish momentum, all right? Maybe we're, we're kind of in, in, in a downtrend. Um, even though o over the last like uh, over the last month, it still very much looks like consolidation, but it, it does seem like we're uh, reacting to to the bearish momentum uh, a little bit more. But what we ex expected yesterday is that to drop down to towards that 19,000, 18,900 level once more. That's our main support level right now, and from there we would either see something like this or something like this. So either a, a continuation and some more bullish momentum up towards. Uh, 19,500 and 19,700 or a continuation of the drop down towards 18,500 and I'm still and, and the jury is still out on this one um, because as I said we have some more bearish momentum so the more likely scenario in my opinion for now does look like um, a breakout out of 18,900 and the moment we break down below that we'll probably take a break retest and drop down towards 18,500 uh, and then from there I do think we'll, we'll start to climb back up again. I do think that's strong enough to hold us now and for a little bit more of the long term. Um, I'm not saying we're not going to go down to 17,600 this year, could happen, but especially the next time we hit 18,500 I still think we can get some bullish momentum out of that. Um, so yeah, so, so so I'd say this is my most likely scenario right now. Obviously, I'd, I'd, I'd love to see us actually support or find support at 18,900 and break above 19,250. The moment that happens, I was wrong and we're probably going up to 19,500 and 19,700 right, no, right now, uh, or at least after that. But um, yeah, the momentum, the market uh, and, and, and the market circumstances just don't really support that right now. So unfortunately, but uh, I'll, I'll have to go with this one as my most likely scenario. Um, and that's my take on Bitcoin for today. So yeah, a full coverage on it, fully technical as, at, at least, not many fundamentals to talk about. Uh, there are no big fundamentals coming up, no interest rates, I believe. Um, no, no, nothing. We can check out next week real quick. Um, yeah, no, I mean, see new home sales and, and U US, uh, US things always, or US news always makes the market move a lot, uh, but we don't have a lot. I mean, GDP growth rate is obviously very important for the economy, but it's, it's not going to tell you much about people's, uh, uh, people investing in, in crypto. So that's my take on Bitcoin for today. Thank you all for watching and listening, and I uh, hope to see you all in the next videos. Take care and bye.